What you're going to need for a dish that can't fail are a bowl, a deep fryer, flour and ale. Stir the mix in the bowl, give your fillets a coating, heat oil in the pan, then watch the fish floating. Turn up the heat, hear the sizzle and spit, serve them with chips, and hey presto, that's it. What you have just heard is John Mole reading one of a collection of poems based on our favourite national dishes. They have been written in association with Morrison's, the idea being to help people remember how to cook great British classics. After all, rhymes have long been used to help commit facts and figures to memory, and new research suggests these poems are badly needed. 27% of Brits aren't confident in the kitchen, and one in 10 of us admit we simply can't remember ingredients for simple things like Yorkshire puds. The rhyme you've just heard is all about fish and chips. I'm going to show you how to make it. But what do you make first? Do you make the fish or the chips? With this recipe, I've got all the answers. What we're going to do is we're going to blanch the chips. And when I say blanch, that means cook them in some boiling water for about two minutes. Give them a little head start before we put them in the oven. So we've got these here. Like I say, they've been cooked just for two minutes. And then we're going to put those straight into a roasting tray. And then we're going to drizzle some oil just over the top. Make sure we get a little bit of oil on all the potatoes. And then we're going to season those with some salt and pepper. Give the chips a really good shake round. Make sure the oil coats all the potatoes and then pop those in the oven for 40 minutes at 220 until they're really golden and crisp. While the chips are cooking, we can make the batter for the fish. We need 110 grams of flour and then we need 200 mils of beer. This is a 500 ml bottle, so I reckon just under half of that. If you're not sure, just use a measuring jug. Just pour the beer in and keep whisking. And once you've got enough in, just really give it a really good whisk to make sure we get all those lumps out. Once you've got a really nice smooth batter, just put it to one side and let it rest while you get the fish ready. Next step for this recipe, you need to get your fryer nice and hot. And while that's heating up, we'll get some flour ready to dust the fish with. So take your fillets and just lay it into the flour on one side. Just pat it down and that'll help it stick. And then turn it over and do the same again. Make sure we've got flour all over the fillet. We've got some cod here that's already prepared from the fishmonger. And then we're just going to dip that into the batter. Dunk it in a couple of times, make sure you get all the, all the fish covered. And then lift it out and let the excess drain off. And then we're just going to transfer that into the hot oil. And when you are doing that, lay the fish away from you and then there's less chance of you ever getting splashed. Fish should take about eight minutes to cook, but it'll tell you when it's ready because it'll float to the top of the oil and you can see it bobbing around and that's when you know the fish is cooked. We're almost ready now. The chips are perfectly cooked, as is the fish. So we'll just pour the chips straight into a bowl. And then we're going to lift the fish out really carefully and we're going to lift those onto a piece of kitchen roll and then that'll absorb any excess oil. And then lift the other one out. There you have it, a classic British dish, fish and chips.